Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony and I make videos on fashion and styling. So if you're into that kind of thing, then you should definitely, definitely stick around. Now today's video is a collective spring staples thrift haul. And again, I thrifted all these things and I put them on the rack and I said, this literally just looks like I picked every single spring classic item <laughs> um, to add to my wardrobe for this spring. So I'm gonna go through them, hopefully give you guys a few tips on how to style them and why they end up being staples for, ever, for most people every spring because these things are just things that you see time and time again and I think it's just because they work so hopefully I can show you guys why and give you some spring styling inspo in this video. Well, firstly, I'm going to just start in the order of my rack and we're going to just start with skirts. I have three skirts to show you guys and I think they all serve a different purpose in your spring wardrobe. So let's just go with the first one that I believe is a great spring staple, which is a knit skirt. So this one is white. It's knit. It's like a midi length. And I like this because again, in the spring, it's a little bit cool. Um, but it's also hot so it's kind of good to have that knit to keep it like a warmer skirt so you can start pulling out your skirts a little early when it's still a little bit chilly because you can wear this with boots you can then once it gets warmer style it with some sandals as you guys will see me styling it um, right now so I just really like this one it is by the brand yarn spinners <laughs> made in the USA this tag is super vintage so I was really happy when I happened upon this just because it's white, it's a neutral, it's gonna go with so many things. And then you can even bring it into summer, you can even bring it into fall and winter as well, just because it's a skirt and it's knit. So I would definitely recommend finding something that is a knit skirt. I also have a pair of knit pants that I really like. Um, and I think that's also a spring uh, staple. So any knit bottom, I think will definitely help you um, round out your spring wardrobe. The next skirt, since we have it here, is a maxi length gray skirt. It has a little slit on the side and then it has all of these beautiful embroideries on the bottom of it, which you guys will see. Now, I just love this skirt. It is vintage from Talbot, so um, definitely a good brand. It's made of wool and rayon, so it's also a pretty good um, fabric composition. So I really like this. What sold me on this was really just the little falling flower. It's gray and it's like that wool blend material. It's the perfect thing that will help you transition because it still gives, it kind of gives winter vibes. Like I can definitely style this in the winter, but I think because of the falling flowers and then it has a slit on the side and it's not too heavy of a material, I think that that actually helps when it comes to spring. And I think this is something that you could definitely wear to work, which I plan on. Um, which I plan on doing just because of the gray and the style of it, I think, but you can also wear it more casually. And so I'll be showing you options on how to dress it up and wear it a little bit more casually. So I just really love the idea of this skirt. And like I said, the embroidery really sold me on it. And uh, like I said, it's Talbot's Maxi, which is also a trend for this season, which is funny. Um, I feel like Maxi's been a trend for a while, but I think it's really hitting big right now with the maxi denim skirts more on the denim side but all of the trend reports say like to the floor maxi for the win you know all those little catchy titles that they have but um this is something that definitely falls into the trends for this spring as well but i think it's also just a classic last skirt is is and was a bit of a problem child because i bought it i'll, sh I'll give you guys a demonstration when i saw it in the thrift store it was like this so it's actually a dress and I thought that is so cute it's this it's this really heavy kind of canvas material but I was really sold on the coloring I love the sage green to the periwinkle with the cream I thought it was just a really good coloring and I said oh that'd be so cute and breezy in the summertime now here's what happened I tried it on and this entire thing it does not feel like this so this like bunches up at the butt and then the, t the entire thing just kind of like hangs really weird around here. The straps are too long and too short, which how is that even possible? And I've tried to tie them at different lengths and everything. So it was just a complete mess. But I, again, I was like determined to make it work because I just love this material and I like this pattern. I like these colors and the different, the different size of the stripes. I just really loved the fabric of it. So 
And of course, in my mind, I'm thinking, worst comes to worst, maybe I'll turn it into pillows or something <laughs> if I really can't figure out a way to style it. But luckily, I did. So the way that I decided to style this is like a kind of like a pinafore. So like where these drop all the way down to under your bust line. And then I belt it here. And then I wore something underneath. So again, you can dress this up and dress it down. I'll show you both ways. Um, because really, I think it just comes down to the shoes and maybe the top that you decide to pair underneath it. But I will show you guys how I do that. Uh, coming up, but it actually turned out to be good. And so when I think of this, like when I think of spring, like I said, a lot of these are classics, but I think when you are shopping for your spring wardrobe, just make sure that you find some pieces that are a little bit fun. Like the next piece I have is something that's really fun just to break up that. So, I mean, I like classics with a twist. That's kind of my style. I like things that are timeless and classic, but I don't like to be boring. So whether that's a texture, a pattern, something fun, I like to always mix that in with the classic pieces. Um, so this one just is very classic, but I think the color combo, it's not your traditional navy and white, it's the periwinkle and cream with a little bit of sage. So I think that makes it a little unique as well as my uh, contraption <laughs> of how I decided to style it as kind of like an overall dress or pinafore, uh, if you will. So um, I think another tip when it comes to building your spring wardrobe is to make sure that you don't get stuck and just the classics that you want to find something that's a little bit fun to break up your wardrobe because at the end of the day, spring is pretty fun. All the flowers are blooming and everything. So you, you want to embody that spirit of spring. <laughs> As I mentioned, I did have something super fun. This is a top from Diane von Furstenberg that I thrifted for $2. Can you believe it? I believe that it's 100% silk. Yes, yes it is. And it just is like a traveling top. So it says like, Africa, Cairo, China, and it has all these stamps and animal print, kind of like, it just looks like old luggage, India. <laughs> it's just really fun. And you'll get to see this up close. But again, this is something that I can pair with other things on this rack, namely this, which we'll get to maybe, and some yellow pants or something like that to be bright and fun, still looking classic but just adding a little bit of pizzazz. And of course, I love Diane von Furstenberg. It always just fits me really well, so I was stoked when I found this in the thrift store. Um, the only thing that I would say is kind of like, not like my thing about it is that it doesn't have a, it doesn't button all the way up. It just has this, I guess, buttons kind of to like a tight little collar up here. Um, so I'm gonna play around with styling just to see how exactly I want to make it work. But again, I couldn't resist the pattern. I couldn't resist the DVF of it. And I think it's a nice, fun thing to add to your spring wardrobe with these pastel colors. The next thing is another classic. It's gonna be a navy patterned sweater. So I picked this up because when I was thinking about like sweaters, I wanted something that I could maybe throw over my shoulders, but a lot of the sweaters that I have are very bulky and um, not a color that I feel like goes with a lot. If they're not bulky, they're like a color that I don't really think goes with it. So when I saw this, I said, oh, this would be cute one to wear, but also it could look cute thrown over my shoulders or just for layering in the springtime. It's from Banana Republic. Let's see what it's made out of just so we know which is Banana Republic. I know it's gonna be pretty good, but let's see. 72% cotton and the rest is polyester. So it's really soft and it's um, pretty thick. Like the knit is pretty small. And I like, there's a detail on here where, and I'll show you up close, but around the back and around where the shoulders connect, it has this like three line pleated, um, just going in a different direction. So I think that makes it really fun and cool. And again, you can't go wrong with navy. And I like the polka dots, how spread apart they are. So you almost don't even notice them. So I'll show you guys a few ways that I would style this. I think it would look nice with some white pants, obviously if you're going super classic, but I also have this way that I've actually worn it already with like a big voluminous denim skirt and one of the accessories that I purchased. So again, this is just a staple navy sweater. The next thing is the little white dress, which I have, I was going to say I don't have one and then I remembered I have one. <laughs> so now I have two, but the other one that I have is completely different style. And this one is definitely a knockoff of the road dresses. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're the ones that have exactly like this, like the little trapeze pleats. I don't know, that's not the technical term for them, but I call them trapeze because it reminds me of like um, a Harlequin pattern or something like that. But anyway. 
obviously white dress with these cool sleeves. It's so heavy. I was worried about it because I thought maybe it would fly because of these, but th there's so much fabric that it just stays down. It is not, it would have to be very windy for it to fly up. The brand on this is called Palms Away, but like I said, this is definitely a knockoff of the designer road. They make dresses exactly like this in all patterns. They come with a little tie. Um, I'm not sure if this one came with a tie because I don't see any belt loops, but I have so many belts and that's exactly how I plan to style up belting it myself. And again, I've tried this on a few different ways. It could be very easy breezy for summer. I'll show you a way that you can style it for spring, maybe with some boots and a trench. And then you can also wear it dressed up for like a night out with a more um, like formal belt and a pair of heels. And that's why they say you need a little white dress, right? Because it can kind of take you through any event during the spring and of course, White is fun, it's bright, it's light, we're tired of the dark, it's time for spring. So, little white dress, definitely something that I think you should consider adding to your wardrobe when it comes to spring staples. All right, the next thing also has a story. I found a depot at my, in my town that basically all of the estate sale stuff that doesn't sell, it goes to the store of Disney. <clears throat> excuse me, all of the stuff that doesn't sell in an estate sale goes to the store and they sell it again. So I thought, oh my gosh, that is such a great idea. I'm so glad that I found this. But anywho, I was looking through the clothing section, which was pretty small because it's mostly furniture and home decor, but I found this vintage cashmere Ralph Lauren cardigan. This is a classic. This is something that if you thrift, if you if you just love classic style, you would hope to come upon it into your thrifting adventures, which is a vintage Ralph Lauren sweater. And like I said, it's 100% cashmere. It has the polo Ralph Lauren little logo here, and then it has these gold buttons, ugh, two pockets. Cashmere, like I said, there are, it has been a little bit moth-y, and there are some holes and stuff on it, but I honestly don't care because I just, I got this for, what, 20 bucks? 100% cashmere vintage rock horn. So to me, totally worth it. I don't even mind the little moth holes on the, on the, they're on the, um, the wrist here, but you fold it up, barely even notice. So this is fun. I've worn it multiple different ways. So I will show you how I have styled it. And there's so many ways, like I said, again, this is another navy sweater. <laughs> so that's a little bit funny that I have two here, but they're definitely different. This one is a vintage Ralph Lauren cardigan. It's a little more, <laughs> I don't want to say like gaudy, but kind of, because it has all this gold on it, whereas the other one's more understated and it's just a sweater. So anyway, love this. Had to add it to my wardrobe. This is something that I will keep forever until the moths just eat probably a big hole in the back of it. <laughs> so um, again, a nice cardigan that you like. I think that's great because in the spring, you're always trying to layer and add different things. And this is just something that you can add over a base anytime and it will elevate the outfits. So I'm so excited about this. <laughs> The next thing, I was looking and have been looking for a longer trench coat. I have a khaki trench coat that goes maybe just to my knees, just a little bit below, and I like that one, but there are some times when I want something a little bit longer, and so this is that for me. It's also, I believe, kind of like a rain jacket because of the material. Like I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's uh, very thin and see-through, so it's not going to do much in the way of warmth, but I think because of where I live, that's totally fine. And because it is also a rain jacket, that works for me too, for where I live. So I just love this. It's by the brand Blast Sport. <laughs> so never heard of it, but I'm happy that they made this because it's perfect. Again, it goes all the way down like I wanted it to. And it has these leather covered, like woven buttons that are so cute. And because of the way that these sleeves are more like blues on. So it's a little different than the regular trench coat sleeves. It has these pockets with the same covered buttons that are woven and then a tie at the back. I don't really need to explain the trench coat and why it is a spring staple. Everyone knows it is. It just is. But this one's just a little bit different, like I said, because it's a thin material. It has little design details that are different than a classic trench coat. And it's long like I wanted it to be for um, some looks that I wanted to style this spring. So I love this. And... The last thing for clothes before I get into a few pairs of shoes and some belts is this other jacket. <laughs> so now this one to me reads very Parisian. It's 
it just reminds me of Madeline or something because it's very structured. The material is stiff. It's vintage from The Gap from 2003. Like I always say, The Gap, Banana Republic, and a few other brands that are under that umbrella, they all date their clothing. And this one is from spring 2003. Um, so I love that. I'm trying to see if there is anything with the fabric content on it. Uh, yep, 100% Colin. Colin, 100% cotton. <laughs> um, and then the inside is polyester and cotton. So I love this because there are multiple details. I feel like this is also somewhat of a rain jacket just because of this material. And it has these like air vents here so that your armpits can breathe, which I thought was such a cool design detail. And again, I have a black trench, but this is a little bit different because it's just a more structured coat so I feel like it would be really cute over dresses or even with jeans when you want something a little more structured. Like I said, it reminds me of Madeline so I think this with some ballet flats and a skirt or some Mary jeans and um, jeans or something like that would be really cute and very Parisian. So I think having a nice structured black coat is cool because there, there's something about the like proportions of that when it's when it's straight out and stiff it's just a different look than your regular trench coat even if it's black so i loved adding that to my coat collection um now we're gonna move on to shoes i have two pairs to show you the first pair is just a pair of black strappy sandals now this is not just a spring staple i think a pair of black black heels is just a staple and believe it or not i did not have a pair of black sandals heels. Um, so I got these and not much to say about them except for you just need them in your wardrobe. They go cute with dresses, they go cute with jeans, they go cute with everything. And um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these. Now the next pair are a pair of J. Crew little flats. So they are pointed toe and they wrap around with a braided ankle strap and then these that you wrap around your ankle in as many different ways as you would like. I think having a patterned shoe, especially a flat, I think is something that is should be a staple in your spring wardrobe just because they elevate any outfit. So it's kind of like if I was just wearing these jeans, a white t-shirt, and I put these on, that automatically elevates it because it has the pattern. Gingham is a good one. It seems weird, but I had a pair of gingham shoes that I had years ago in college and I wore them into the ground and I wore them so much more than I ever thought I would wear a pair of gingham shoes. But it just, it's the same thing like how I say about the metallic shoes, which, um, oh yeah, that's another pair of shoes that I got, <laughs> which is um, another staple. So wearing like a pair of metallic flats will update the outfit. It will just make it a little bit more interesting. So. I got these, there's a million different ways to style them. You've probably seen them throughout this video because I'll be kind of styling some of this stuff together and apart, et cetera, et cetera. So you will probably see me style these already, but I wanted to mention them. They are also from J. Crew. And again, I thrifted another pair of J. Crew shoes, which I guess I'm just drawn to them, which is another pair of silver flats. These ones I'm a little unsure about because I think the toe is like a little too snouty as Cassie would say. They're a little too long for me, but I think they will work. So I have these pair of silver shoes that I, obviously I don't know if you can see from that far, but they are just like ripped up. I wear them so much. So I knew, I know that they are on their way out so that when they die, I have their replacement because it's something that I find is just a staple in my wardrobe really year round. But I think the silver metallic is great for spring because it goes with all these colors like navy, khaki, white, um, all the pastels, it just kind of sets them off. So I would highly, highly recommend that you get a pair of metallic shoes. Um, and again, metallics is another trend for this season. So I'm going to be doing a video on uh, shopping my closet for spring trends coming up, but I wanted to get the classics and staples done first for you. So again, these are the ones that I thrifted. These are the ones they will be replacing. So I haven't started wearing these yet. And the last thing I wanted to mention are accessories. Now I found these two kind of raffia belts these two are my colors if you don't even if you don't know yellow and lavender i just love the colors together that's kind of the theme of my channel there's a whole story behind it but i love these colors so i found these two belts when i was thrifting they're probably like 90, 90 cents each again are you thinking like easter spring candy eggs 
dyed eggs, Easter bunny, like that's literally what, they, what they're giving and that's something that we think about when it comes to spring anyway. So I really love these together, well not together, but I like having these as an option for a little pop of color when it comes to any one of my looks. And the cool thing about them is that they have, there's no holes, so you can pop them like as wide or as tight as you want them to go. So I think these will be good. You will see me using them throughout this video. So I wanted to mention them here as well. And I think having some fun, thicker belts, I would work, if you're gonna get like a colored belt, I think it's fun when it's thicker because then you can add them like say to this dress or you can add them to, you can belt a cardigan over the top of it or you can even belt your jackets and stuff like that. So I think having something fun that's like a little pop of color, it kind of ties in with what I said about having something interesting. So I definitely would recommend finding a belt that you like in a color that, um, is maybe not your usual, but you can definitely find ways to style it. So anyway, that's it on that. Alrighty guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know which look was your favorite down below, which staple that you've seen here that you don't have that you might be thinking about getting, which ones that you already do have. Let's just talk about spring and the staples down in the comments. And again, if don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw, have something to say, or just like to keep up with the rest of the videos that I'll be posting here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.